guys, you welcome back. Do you, do you know that obviously, um, I mean, all around the world there have been uh, slaves, but obviously, Prophet Muhammad did, was pro slavery. Are you aware of this? Uh, no, I'm not aware of that. No, yeah, well, he was for slavery and also he had sex slaves. Okay. I mean, no. uh, you, you, I mean, you don't, um, if you don't I know, know what I, I know what you're referring to. I wouldn't want to engage in that conversation because Islamically, I wouldn't. I'm not. I don't want to sort of. I don't want to sort of respond where I'm not that educated in it. I know that there are contradictions. I know that the what was written at the time of the Prophet, what the translations are now, what interpretations interpretations are now, would be. <clears throat> probably misinterpreted based on the type of person that's trying to make a point so if they are anti-islamic they would want to use the words probably at the time of the prophet against many people do, do, do you understand what i'm trying to say so when you're saying sex slaves i don't want to really be offended by something like that because i am a muslim um, if it is true, I don't know what the interpretations are. I really don't know. I just really want to be more, more so finding out more about my religion and finding out what. Yeah, I mean, when I, when I ask you, I'm not expecting to be a scholar. I'm just wondering if you have awareness. That's yeah, but it's like you're, 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 you're telling me as if it was fact that he. My he understanding, agreed. my understanding no, is fact. You've you just come yeah. to a Muslim and stated yeah. to me that did you know your prophet was yeah. pro-slavery? Whereas I don't want to really engage in state. Yeah, no, because I'm, my Islamic knowledge isn't perfect. What okay. I will say is, what I will say is, is that I don't really want to be lead, led led into thinking by you if you if you're not 100% sure on what you're stating that your prophet was pro-slavery. I don't really want to go down that route. I don't really want to agree to something like no. make you think that. Is there anything in Islam? Sorry. Is there anything in Islam when you? I think those are two different things. I think sinning and slavery, like I can only imagine in, in, cap, in, in capturing somebody and putting somebody in a position that they don't want to be enslaved, as in, in being enslaved wouldn't be Islamically propped, wouldn't be something that would be correct. But where you've got someone saying sinning and slavery, I don't really understand the question that's been asked. Uh, I mean, uh, my understanding. And I'm not a scholar, but my understanding is that Prophet Muhammad um, did have slaves, and he also. Um, but what, said, what, where did you? Where, where where would you get that? Where do you? Um, where do you want to have that? Hadith and also what it, hadith? Because I want to, I want to find out. I mean, it's interesting because I'm the type of person. If you give me a fact, then I would want to learn from it and understand where it's come so from. But no, I don't really want to engage with you. I'm a bit shy. I don't mind. I don't, not in front of. He did, but I want to share with you anyway. To be honest with you, I'm a Christian, right? I'd want to share Christianity. But do you understand what I'm saying? No, I, I understand. For you to go to somebody and say yeah. your prophet, the one yeah. that you believe in, he was pro-slave. Like you have to understand. If that's something that you're gonna say, you need to come. Kind of come with the reasons where it's coming yeah, you're from right. uh, and are, show are, it. Are, are and then I would feel more comfortable like yeah. providing a sort of defense or, or even agreement, whatever it yeah. is, or, or give you, would you my understanding. Islam? Would you leave Islam? No. Or would you consider it? No, I would never leave Islam. So, you would there any be any I have respect for Christians and I have yeah. respect for Jews, Orth Orthodox Jews, and I have respect for respect for because we all are we all people from the book so but, um, I mean I would say you know when they say is Abrahamic religions I respectfully have to reject that because if we say if we say like I come from your family tree but there is no that's connection so that's irrelevant you have to understand the books to be able to understand yeah. where they come from we have we share the same prophets we literally share the same message of God the Bible has had many different copies done over the years it's the Quran hasn't the Quran has never been misinterpreted. Well, it's mis been misinterpreted. Has never been made into copies that are not. There's only been one version of it. Whereas there's been multiple versions of, of, of the Bible itself. So many different versions. You've got different gospels, different, different versions basically. Hadiths are just encounters of people that were there at the time of the Prophet. So they were there understanding and making it easier for the people, the Ummah, people that were going to be following after the Prophet, to basically understand how to become a Muslim, how to follow. The the righteous ways of, of our prophet so it's it's look do you can I ask you a question do you yeah. think times have changed from 1400 years ago to 2023 well the Bible I mean I want to no, no 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 answer my question directly so, without uh, any books 
without any religion. Yeah, the, the, I mean, I, I wanted to comment on some of the bits you said, the, but I'll just, I have to quote the word of power because my opinion is worthless. What Christian, so what, the, what type of Christian are you? I'm non-denomination. So the word of God, Jesus Christ himself said, the earth and heaven shall pass away, but will, my word will never change. So when you say that the Bible has been changed, I have to reject that. And when you say the Quran there hasn't been so changed, many. I have to reject it. Okay, that's fine. And because then we can just leave that. For the otherwise. But I want to ask you, uh, yeah. I want to ask you, madam, you say there are different gospels. Like I said, it's not a test. Like, you're not a Christian. So I'm not testing you. I'm just having a conversation, right? When you say there are different gospels, can you tell me what is your understanding from your So you've knowledge? got the same way that you've got religion just figures within Islam, you're going to have people in Christianity, from my understanding, please correct me if I'm wrong, you've got a bug, bug there. Uh, as long as it's not a corporate... Um, I'm take... scared to touch it. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, it's there now. Okay, so um, Matthew, you've got, you got different... You got different you got John the Baptist. You got obvious. I don't. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I, that's why it's good. I don't, I don't I want wanna, to clarify. I don't really want to sound like I'm learned in Christianity because I'm not. Um, but what I, um, my understanding of gospels are there. These these religious figures were giving their versions of Christianity in writing, basically, and they form part of the, the Bible. So you've got different. I don't know. That's where so, I. So the way. So that's that's where you've got. You've got the New Testament, the Old Testament, you've got... Where I mean the, the changes, by the way, I mean the changes between the Old and the New. I mean, I th and that's all in one book in your Bible. So, so basically, we have four Gospel accounts. So we say the, the Gospel according to Matthew, the Gospel according to Luke, the Gospel um, according to Mark, and according to John. So John the Baptist. What, so yeah, yeah. It wasn't John the Baptist, oh, John. but it was a, a disciple, a different John. Okay. So when it says the gospel according to these four people, is um, talking about yeah, their accounts. And they, their accounts. So imagine if they knew of what? Of Jesus Christ, of, of the ministry when did he came Did they know them earth. personally? Um, two of them did, yes. But what I want to teach you about is what the gospel is. So do you know what the gospel message Because Jesus Christ said, that the gospel should preach in all nations and the end will come. For example, or he said, go and preach the gospel in all nations. Do you know what the gospel is or the good news, we call it, he called it? You know, it's like that one. Like tell in, you. In, 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 um, yeah, tell me. Yeah, it is like Dawah, yes. Yeah. So the Dawah equivalent in English is evangelism. I don't know if you've heard of that. Yeah. So the gospel, according to Jesus Christ, you know, is um, that uh, basically that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And by the by, his blood we um, we are forgiven, and then he baptizes with um, spiritual water. So he gives us the Holy Spirit. So that's the gospel. So you have the gospel accounts, and then the gospel. Uh, were you aware of this? Is this the first time you heard this, or did you? Know I mean, this? when you, I've never. Yeah, I was aware. Now that you say it, but I mean, putting it specifically, yeah. Yeah. You've made me more obviously more aware of it. Yeah. I was going to say something, but I've forgotten now. That's okay. I mean, I can uh, expand on it further. Um, and then if you think of something, you can tell me. So essentially, this is why when people say, oh, we believe in the same prophets, we don't. Because uh, unfortunately, I know Muslim. Why? Because it's a different Jesus. Well, he was the same man that we were referring to. It we refer to the same man. The yeah. same man being Jesus Christ, Isa. Yeah. Isa, and whereas, I mean, if you've got one religion rejecting it, that's one thing. If you've got Christianity rejecting it, that's one thing. But it, Islam's not rejecting the idea of Jesus. They're accepting that his existence. The only difference is, is that we don't believe he's the son of God because we can't, because that, 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 that would deplete, that would uh, completely contradict the idea of Allah or God or, you know, where the word is, an Aramaic word, right? Is it not? Christianity was written in Aramaic. So actually, his, um, his original name was La, because La, Allah, which means, which yeah, means which is an Aramaic. So it's the interesting, because in the Bible, no one referred to God as La, no one. We called him Elohim, we call him it was, uh, the Jehovah, same thing. but it can't be, because... It is, because it's God. So Jesus Christ, basically... We just don't believe God is man. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't, don't believe, believe in that either. You do. 
because no, we you believe he's got children. No, we we believe so he's had a son. If I, if I um, explain it, so firstly we believe that God, you know, the Son of God became man. So it's not like a man became God. So there is a big difference, right? And also, sorry, say that. Sorry. So it's not like we believe that a man became a god or God. Is that God became a man? So it's it's a it's a which big one, difference. Which one is it that you believe in? That um, God became a man or God that, became a man. So do you do you not believe that Jesus is God though? So? We believe Jesus yes, is that's God. The big so it's the incarnation. Between Islam. But is it is a major difference and also um, basically um, I don't want to keep you too long by the way, I just wanted to share No, the no, I didn't even know where my part was going. But um, uh, basically um, Jesus referred to the Father repeatedly, right? He said the Father sent me, or he said pray to the Father, and all sorts of re references to the Father. So, and this is the trouble when when Muslims say, "Oh, we we son of God," but you son believe of God, in the Holy Trinity. Yeah. So it's a it's a massive contradiction because Jesus did have a Father, and also we become a, we become children of God when we, we adopt Who is the Father? The Father of yeah. Jesus. Um, he's the well, he's the father person of the Trinity. Yeah, but who is that? He's God. Is it, just as like, yeah, so just that's like a main, that's a being. That that that's what I mean about contradictions. That that's where you that that kind of Christianity um, basically creates God in the same vision as humankind. But do you know where humanity comes from? Would you agree? Even if you don't agree in the concept of the Trinity, yeah. would you agree? that humanity comes from God because God yes. made us okay yes. so to actually state so when but it's a choice how we as humans like choose to be humane does that make sense we were only born because of God but we have a choice of what we do so yeah absolutely and that's so why we can we reject we, we have yeah. an option to reject and understand or misinterpret things you know I, from, from what you were saying earlier on about how um, at the time of Jesus, he would yeah. refer to God as his father. Thank you. All right. He would refer to God as his father. I feel like any 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 person would refer to something that he looks looks up to as his father. But you can't call Allah your father. No, we wouldn't call him our, yeah. our father. We but this is he's God. So 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 would you agree, right? So I'm not saying that you have to believe in. The, are you together? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm not saying you have to believe in the same thing, but clearly if Jesus had a father and Isa didn't, it can't be the same person. Isa. Wow, that was beautiful. I love how their conversation started. At first, you know, the, the lady being interviewed was kind of lost. She didn't know what to say because she was caught on her way with that question. Your prophet was, you know, uh, he enslaved people, he, he made women, you know, enslaved them into slavery a lot of people were into slavery and all me i can say about that is that i don't know how true that is and even though it is true that was back then and i'm sure after i'm sure after that particular incident happened he was a changed person he became a better prophet i'm sure i, I don't i don't know much i don't know anything about i don't know much about quran i'm just saying it you know based on their conversation because if a uh, muslim can stand their ground that this is their religion even though our prophet did a lot of atrocity we are still standing for him that he is a true prophet so i love the fact that she was able to you know come back to her you know try and understand the question one thing i noticed about you know muslim or islam is the fact that they don't like to carry the negative part of their religion they will really prefer to spread the good part of islam so any negative part that was written in the quran or that was written in the quran they don't want to talk about it because they believe it was something that happened and you know things later change for good along the line so i love their conversation she's talking about christianity talking about the father you know this is why she she can stand her ground for islam is the fact that islam has only one version but bible has multiple multiple versions they spoke about christianity spoke about you know what the bible um entails what the quran entails and that was beautiful to watch like 
I love I know how bold she was, how confident. Even though she was like she does not know much about things, about but she, she still stood her ground. The little knowledge she knows about Islam, she was able to say it. And little once she has heard or she knows about Christianity, she was able to prove her point to to the host. That was beautiful to watch. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.